right, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, just This will be a real quick video. I don't know who's really interested in this or if anybody is really interested in this. Uh, but it, there's an add-on that you can get for Matrix Gold or a Rhino. Uh, if you go down to your command line and type in a Package Manager, hit Enter, and then just wait for everything to load. Uh, you should be able to scroll down here. I already have it installed. Uh, it's the Rhino Polyhydra. Uh, and what it is is it gives you about 600 plus uh, already pre-made Polyhydra designs. And you just hit install. And then uh, you'll have to cl uh, OK and then close out of Matrix and then reload Matrix. And it should be there. Uh, to activate it, all you have to do is, I'll cancel out of this, is go down to your command line and type in uh, uh, polyhydron uh, and hit enter. And then you'll have this uh, menu uh, box pop up. And then it will have all these different kinds of shapes that you can just load in. Uh, you can load the, it tells you how many vertices, faces, and, and it, whether it comes in a solid or there's some that do not, which are pretty crazy <laughs> shapes uh, down in here. Uh, these kind of shapes here, they don't come in uh, uh, a solid, I guess. Uh, but uh, if you click on one, uh, that's just a ball there, let's see, uh, let's get a different one. There's, there's, t well, let's get, grab this thing here. If you hit OK, and then you just, uh, you know, I'm going to hit C4. And before I go ahead and click on it, you can come down here to your output, and you can decide whether you want it to be in a curves, uh, your cur just the curves, or you want it in a mesh uh, to put into Clay U or something like that, or uh, Rhino 3D or sub D uh, or uh, surface uh, so you can uh, you know click on that so if you want a surface you also have the option of colorizing it or just uh, keeping it the normal color. I'll, first one I'll just go ahead and uh, put it out there and then give it uh, shading there uh, so you have something like this that you can start to manipulate or make some kind of design on uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and redo it, and I'll just hit OK. And this time, uh, well, I'll go to C4 again. And before I hit it, I'll, I'll tr you know, keep it on uh, source. I'll keep it on the surface, but I'll, I'll colorize it, yes or no. Uh, and no will just put it in the normal green. But uh, different objects will come in with different uh, colors so that uh, you can manipulate it maybe a little easier. Uh, so let's. I'll right click again. Uh, bring back the command something like some of these other patterns uh, let's see one that uh, something like this maybe uh, perhaps so let's take a look uh, F4 and uh, colorization surface output uh, colorization yes and so and it'll give you uh, colors to be able to manipulate a little bit uh, uh, easier or whatever uh, but I think you can go ahead and just change it to another color. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if anybody's interested, but that's how you do it. Again, uh, one more time, Package Manager. Package Manager, enter, wait for the uh, add-ons to load. Go down, scroll down until you find the Rhino Polyhyd Polyhydra. Uh, and then just uh, install, OK, and then close it out and then close matrix and then reload matrix and uh, all you have to do from there is just type in the the poly uh, hydron and then you'll have the command available so uh, if you're interested in it uh, there's a lot of things you could probably do with it you could just actually take uh, do the lines and then uh, snap them to the grid and then pick certain shapes out and manipulate them uh, or let your imagination go wild, but I thought I'd throw it out there and see if anybody's interested in it. And if you are, hey, it's there. Uh, might as well use it if you can. Uh, so there you have it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If the this helps you, if it gives you some new ideas or whatever, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.